In the previous tutorials, we covered six basic material types and their relationship to each other. In this video, we'll cover various texture parameters such as diffuse, bump and specularity maps, and the emission parameters. Let's enable emission first, since it's the easiest. After setting the base emission to a 6500 Kelvin blackbody, we see that the pig is now emitting light. We can also see a faint pink glow near the base. This is due to the diffuse base still reflecting our pink color. Disabling this produces a pure white appearance. Let's now take this base emission and modulate it with an emission texture. This can be useful for things such as TV screens, which radiate light of varying intensity over the surface. We'll use the indigo font image, not because it's an appropriate emission texture for a pig, but because it produces this nice looking glow on the floor. Let's now stop making our pigs glow in the dark and cover the texture options. So let's go back to the normal fong material now. This will show off the bumps better when we enable bump mapping. Let's first apply a simple diffuse texture, in this case a wood texture. We see that it has been shrink wrapped over the pig's surface with some distortion due to the auto generated UV mapping. Now let's apply the corresponding bump map for this texture. It gives the illusion of added surface detail without actually creating more geometry. The latter is what displacement mapping does, but we won't get into that now. As we can see, the surface has taken on a more rough and detailed appearance. An important detail when working with bump maps is correctly setting the bump's scale. As mentioned in the previous video, Indigo requires the scene scale to be in meters, because parameters such as glass absorption are specified in terms of meters. The bump map scale is another such parameter, and it's crucial to interpret this value in meters. We typically have a bump scale of a few millimeters, which in meters is quite a small value. This maximum bump strength is specified in the texture editor in the scale field. As we can see, increasing the bump scale beyond a certain point causes unrealistic darkening to appear, so it's quite important to keep these numbers realistic. Finally, we'll illustrate the scale, offset, and exponent, or gamma, with a color texture. Scale acts as an overall brightness multiplier, and it can even be negative. Offset adds a constant brightness amount. These parameters work together to create quite a lot of flexibility without having to change the actual texture. For example, if you'd like to invert the colors, set the scale to minus one and the offset to one. The other options are quite useful too, but we'll have to cover these another time.